Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are at ASAP Dental and we're here with Jeremy. You doing? Jeremy is the office manager, but he deals with like a lot of figures, right? A lot yes, of numbers, crunching numbers. So we're gonna talk about cost. Yes, we are. Yeah, it's a it's a big issue for people. This is like the number one concern among all of my viewers is how much is this going to cost and why is dentistry so expensive? And so he's going to kind of break that down for us. Um, this video is sponsored by ASAP and they have eight locations in Northeast Florida. They deliver same day smiles seven days a week. So make sure that you check them out. Also, yes, <laughs> what do we got here, Jeremy? We are the official dentist for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Super exciting. Um, been working on it for a couple years now, so I'm so glad that we're able to uh, close that deal with the Jags. Um, and again, just looking forward to bringing smiles every day um, to everybody in our location. Super cool stuff here. Make sure that you check out their website. The link is in the description box below, and let's get right into it. Here's the thing. I grew up with you know a brother and a sister. Absolutely. We were in the same house under the same care. My teeth were always bad. They were always sensitive, and my parents on limited income from Absolutely. the military. Yep. Um, we didn't see the dentist very often it was kind of like if you have a toothache we're gonna go and we're gonna take you and that's about it so there weren't routine cleanings or anything absolutely so by the time I came into adulthood I was already in debt to my mouth and yes. I struggled to pay for that by that point and after multiple pregnancies all of my teeth were starting to decay I couldn't afford the restorative work needed to get them back to a state of health and I ended up losing my teeth at 26 so my question is why is dentistry so expensive? Absolutely, that's a great question. Uh, that's a lot of uh, what a lot of our patients struggle with. It's uh, um, the fear of the dentist, and right behind that is fear of what is this going to cost me, right? Because again, it's it's healthcare, right? It's medicine, just like if you go to your doctor, it just happens to be in your mouth. And unfortunately, I think one of the big reasons that patients feel it so hard and, and they have to endure the brunt of it is how so-called dental insurance is structured, right? So. You go to the doctor, you pay a copay, deductible. Usually your medical insurance is gonna take care of the rest. It doesn't work like that in dentistry, unfortunately. You'll get a lot, a, sl a kind of like a lump of money, maybe it's $1,000, $1,500, and you're thinking, well, at least I can use that up front. Wrong answer. So this percentage based, and they're paying a little bit along the way until it maxes out, and then you're having to come up with the rest. Um, and that's really sad, because it's nothing like medical insurance. Last time I checked, our mouth is connected to our head, that's connected to our rest of our body. Um, if there's any body in, you know, legislation that's listening to this, kick something up, up, up the street, please, because until we change some laws congressional at that level, it's gonna continue to be this way. And it, it's sad in a way, but again, um, you know, one of the analogies I like to use is my son, my youngest daredevil, he actually broke his one arm twice, the other arm uh, one time by the time he was 10. So I had been, I was in the Air Force at the time, so I didn't have to see that bill, thank God. But I did have some questions and did some research and just putting a cast on that arm would have been about 6,000. If he needed surgery, 15, 20,000, and that's just an arm. You know, most of us are born with 32 teeth, um, give, you know, plus or minus a couple on the wisdom teeth side, but 28 as an adult, that's all we get as far as functional teeth, right? And so if you lose one of those teeth, it doesn't affect that one tooth. It affects the tooth above it. Could be the tooth beside it. Losing one tooth could be losing three. So now it becomes a value thing, right? right. You know, um, what is it worth to replace that tooth? I really appreciate the fact that you touched on the insurance thing because, you know, I never really knew where, um, where the professional community stood on that and sure. maybe you know maybe it's just your personal opinion yes. i don't know how widespread this is yeah. but it is an issue because Absolutely. you know people never really question how much a, a doctor's bill is because Absolutely. they have insurance and right. they're not paying the full amount if they were right they'd probably be forced to shop around for that too absolutely right. you know what i mean yes so it, it is an issue but then you know the fact that things are the way that they are right. dentistry is still expensive Very and it's expensive. inaccessible to a lot of people so like what drives the prices for the different procedures right um the dentist that is seeing you and taking care of your uh, dental needs is still a doctor right so they still go through the same eight twelve years of college sometimes more with residencies right um, so there's that bill to pay. There's also the cost of um, the materials and the equipment that we use. Um, and, that, and that can be, you know, depending on if it's gloves, you know, it's just a simple box of gloves that we pay over $20 a box for. So let's go back, let's talk about insurance for, for a second. You know, there's 
all kinds of insurances out there. Um, and then those insurances, you know, there's different levels, an HMO, a DMO, a PPO, a Medicaid, a Medicare, and you're like, okay, you lost me, right? So um, unfortunately, really out of all those insurances, PPOs are the only one that are halfway decent. And all the other ones are really paying pennies on the dollar. You're limited on what dentists are going to take those, which again, could impact the quality of care that you receive. Um, so the insurance is one thing because some insurances, you go to one doctor, they charge you this fee. You go to another doctor, they charge you this fee to maximize, you know, the lowest cost possible. You've got to go to a specific dentist. They tell you to, maybe that dentist is not, um, able to do every procedure so that's why there's a lot of fluctuation on cost and it's driven by those dental insurances until we somehow get that on board with more what medical insurance covers that's still going to be a struggle for a lot of patients that's one thing the second thing is again your dentist is still a doctor right they've gone to college for eight twelve years sometimes more with residencies um, your support staff your dental professionals your hygienist your assistants there's still college and certification there so again it's the same mindset it's medicine um, what patients don't see, you don't see the medical side of the bill because most insurances cover it. Um, because if, if you did, you'd understand the cost of healthcare overall is going to be expensive. And to me, expensive is really a relative term. To me, it's about healthcare, right? Notice I did not say dentistry, I didn't give it to your smile yet, um, because a lot of what affects in the mouth is the gateway to the rest of our body and the, and the rest of our health. So, you know, what, what kind of value are you going to put on that type of dentistry that you're going to receive? You know, when you walk into that office, has that dentist been doing this a year, a week, two days, 10, 20 years? Good question to ask. Are they comprehensively trained? or are they just a general dentist that can do fillings? That's important because that impacts if you're gonna be able to get your root canal and crown the same day, or if you're gonna to have to see two other specialists, three other appointments to complete the procedure. So again, that could impact what you pay as well. But I go back to, again, best value, right? I wanna know that I'm getting the best care I can receive possible at the best price. Does that mean I may spend a little more upfront? Absolutely, but I'm confident that the team is taking care of me is gonna do it right, and it's going to last a long time. It's like dentistry has turned into a commodity where people feel the need to shop around right. because of the price. Right. And depending on where you go, the prices may be wildly different. What causes the gap in the price between dentist A and dentist B down the street? That's a great question. So again, a couple of things. A lot of it has to do with that dentist, what did it cost for the practice or the business to hire that dentist, right? If, if I got a dentist just coming out of school, been doing it for a year or two, that's going to impact the price on this side of the street or if I go across the street and I'm dealing with a, a dentist who's been doing this 20 years, mm. right? Because those dentists, they really, they're hard to come by. Usually they're on the, the golf course by that point in time in their <laughs> career, right? Yeah. Um, and oh, by the way, on this side of the street, he's going to be able to do my root canal and crown all in one day across the street. You may be able to start it, might be able to finish it, may have to send it to the, the specialist over here. So that can drive a wide range. That combined with, again, back to the insurance about what the fees are allowed to be charged and are you in network, are you out of network, um, and those variables as well. A lot of that has to do with what, what is being charged um, to the patient as well. What a lot of people end up doing is, especially when it comes to like major um, restorations to their to their teeth, if it's something that's like, you know, implants or, or something that's gonna be about fifty, sixty thousand dollars right. $60,000, they're going overseas. They're right. going to other countries and yes, it's like this whole big industry Sure. around dental tourism right. and I get these comments all the time they're like you know the dentist here in the in the states wanted to charge me 55,000 I went sure. over here to like Turkey or something sure. and it was like 20,000 if that so Absolutely. what what are you what are your thoughts on dental tourism to yeah. save money that's that's a brilliant question so I'll start by saying this any foreign trained dentist that comes to the states that wants to practice dentistry has to do a bridge program that's an additional two years of college let me restate that <laughs> a dentist coming from outside of the United States has to complete two years of dental school in order to practice in the United States. Now, I'm not telling you you can't go to a certain country to get quality dental care. Of course, there's always, like you said, the chance that you could look up yeah. and you could get something great over there. But then how does that translate when you come back here? If you have a problem, are you going to have to fly, you know, overseas Absolutely. every time something fails? And like, how does how does the products that they use over there compared to what we use here? Could you even fix something that, you know, 
know, wasn't standard here in the States. Right. And that's, we've come across that before. Um, in a lot of instances, no, uh, that work has to be redone. Um, and again, what we use here in the States that goes into your mouth, there's a lot of um, policies, procedures, protocols that keep those items safe that's going to go in your mouth. Overseas, Again, not so much. Those stringent protocols um, in a lot of places don't have to be followed. So again, that's cutting costs. But again, I'm going to go back to this is your health care. You know, is the bottom line the most important thing to you or is getting value where you go and knowing that's going to change your overall health? the most important thing to you. So then what is what it all boils down to is, you know, it's expensive, the cost is justified. Yes, it is, it, this is a medical practice, even right. though it's, you know, by insurance standards, not really considered that. Yes, ma'am. Um, it, it costs a lot of money to get the, the work done that you need. Right. But when somebody comes in and they're they're suffering, they're in pain, right. and they don't have the money for it, what are your what are your recommendations? What options do they have? Absolutely. So, and again, this is why I, I'm retired Air Force, so I've been doing dentistry 25 years and also medicine. I was administrator in a hospital. I love patient care. I love taking care of patients. I love the education fact. I love improving the the health of, of our patients. That comes options, right? So patients should always have options. One of those options is do nothing. One of those options is to take the tooth out. One of those options is to fix the tooth. And any place that you go, they should be giving you options. If they pin you in the corner with just this expensive option and nothing else, then run, run far and fast. Amen. <laughs> that, that, that's not okay. Um, again, we present options to the patient. Um, we have multiple payment plans. I think we're gonna save that for another discussion, which will be great. Um, but again, you know, let's throw a few numbers out there. So root canal build up and crown to save your tooth may run about $3,000, right? So let's say you don't have insurance. Maybe that's the cost without any, any help or discounts. Um, to take that tooth out, maybe $450, right? Um, to replace that with a partial, you maybe five, six, seven hundred dollars. So out the door, you're a thousand dollars and you have a replacement option. Is it the best replacement option? Maybe not. You got to take it in, take it out. Maybe it's a hassle. But from a functional health standpoint, it does create the same objective of fixing that tooth, right? So you've got, you know, taking the tooth out, partial a thousand versus three thousand. So right there, we all already have given a patient a couple of different options of what they can do. And oh, by the way, you come in and for some reason you're in pain, you're in infection, um, unable to do any work today, didn't have the money, couldn't get approved for a payment plan, at least you're going to go home with an, uh, prescriptions that day for an antibiotic, right, and um, some pain medication to kind of get you through to the next payday to where you can get it done. Because if you go to an office and they're not doing that, again, run far and fast. Because at least at a bare minimum, even if you can't afford to do anything that day, we're going to help control your infection. That's that's good. We're going to have to get Jeremy back here. He's yeah, very knowledgeable, it. and you know, it, it's a big discussion. There's there's so many different angles that we could take with this. Absolutely. So let me know if you want to get Jeremy back on here to dive deeper into this topic of cost, because I know just from the 11 years that I've been doing this here on YouTube, that's like one of the main concerns that you guys have, and I'd like to really you know dig into that and explore that and and discuss it. If you have any questions for Jeremy. Jeremy, leave him in the comment section below and I'll reach out to him and get his opinion on it. Yeah, I'm not going away, guys. Um, I'll, I'll be here. Um, <laughs> we're going to force feed you some great education. Um, most, Whether you like it or not, it's going to be good for you. Um, like I said, I was a hygienist. I've been a hygienist for almost 20 years, so I love to educate. My whole goal is to help our patients find a way that you don't have to pay for anything. You come in for a cleaning, there's a way to do that and stay healthy. That's what we want to see health that's all and there's a way to do it on the prevention side once you have your dentistry you have your teeth fixed there's a way to keep it that way and you shouldn't have to revisit these topics and again bottom line where you're going a lot of things can affect the cost but again convenience the expertise is one of the most important things find out how long somebody's been doing something right you don't have to be the first person that they they do that procedure on right and again experience to me is invaluable Absolutely. And go Jags. Yeah, go Jags. There we go. <laughs> well, that wraps it up for today's video. I think that this was like super productive, very informative. Again, we're going to get him back on here because he's, he's going to drop some knowledge bombs knowledge on you guys. Power. <laughs> Absolutely. So if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so that you get these alerts as to when I post these videos. And we will see Jeremy again, and we'll have more videos with ASAP here. Check out my links below in the description box. All my socials are down there, and I will see you guys again next time, and y'all take care. Take care.